All right. Welcome, everybody, to this session tonight. Uh, the chat is rolling. Uh, I'm just checking who is joining. Vietnam, Malaysia, Botswana. Wow, very, very international today. So welcome, everybody, to this uh, session. My name is Eugene, and I am broadcasting live out of Germany. And I will have a guest, special guest, coming in probably in 20 minutes. 20 to 30 minutes, Japan in the house, Germany, Monte Carlo, Vietnam, Botswana. Wow. All right, let me disable the chat so we have no distraction and then we get started, everybody. Okay, welcome for joining. Uh, welcome. Thank you for joining, everybody. I see we have a full house uh, and uh, the number keeps increasing. So, yes, what an event we had in Dubai. Uh, pretty much a week ago, right? So we had more than 5,000 people at the DAISY event in Dubai. And uh, yeah, DAISY is gone, right? Now it's Limitless. So DAISY has officially uh, rebranded to Limitless. So this entire community that was built for three years with more than 240,000 members is now called Limitless. And um, during the event, they did a nice job of rebranding the whole uh, venue, right? Removing all the DAISY banners, putting up Limitless and Blockchain Sports banners. So that was amazing to see. And yeah, the event was was awesome. I mean, a lot of emotions, a lot of exciting news. And that's what we will do today in this webinar. A lot of exciting news and updates coming your way and a very exciting special guest as well. And you guys probably already know who that is. And this is one of the founders of uh, Limitless, right? Uh, and this is Ilya. That's why I'll be watching my phone from time to time so I can see if he's in, so I can give him co-host rights. And I also have a few co-hosts here, guys. So thanks for joining and helping me out uh, moderating the whole thing. So yes, let's talk about blockchain sports. Um, this was the project that was announced in the Coca-Cola Arena uh, exactly a week ago. And if you got, if you guys go to the back office of the new project, which is at imlimitless.io, you will see that more than thirty million dollars were already contributed to this new opportunity. Right. So, and I think it's more than 12,000 members just in six days alone. And you might think this is all Daisy people, but this is not only Daisy people. There's a lot of new people coming into the ecosystem. Uh, just yesterday, we had a uh, pay setter call and we heard that the Hungarian team brought 500 new people in those six days. So the ecosystem is now growing outside of the Daisy system, right? So if you go to daisyglobal.com and if you log in, you will see that number growing. So we had 240,000 members when Daisy closed out on the 21st of February. Uh, and now the number is growing. All right, so what is blockchain sports? So blockchain sports, and as you can see here uh, on the slide, this is where the web free technology meets IRL sports business. So IRL stands for in real life. So we have some real life assets connected to the blockchain industry. Uh, and the second half of the event in Dubai was all about the new, the new business, the new technology. Uh, and um, in the next few minutes, I, I would like to show you what this business is all about and how you guys can benefit from it. Uh, be it as a passive member, be it, be it as an active member. So because this business has everything in store, you know, there's a lot of different aspects uh, of this ecosystem and we will go through those one by one. And later when Ilya joins, we will cover some of your questions, everybody, because uh, obviously there is a lot, a lot of questions since we have a new, a totally new, brand new opportunity and everyone wants to understand every bit of it. So that's why I think it's important to have those Q&A sessions. And also, please mark your calendars. On Friday, I think it's 1 p.m. UTC, 
there will be a big uh, AMA session with the blockchain sports founder, Dimitri. Dimitri Saxonov, you might know him um, from Liquid Mining. So you can tell he has a lot of experience in the blockchain space. He has a lot of connections in the cryptocurrency space. So we got the right person uh, leading this, this new opportunity because you really need those connections, especially if it comes to uh, listing the, the native coin Atla on the various exchanges, right? And we'll come to that in a few moments. So let's discuss uh, the in real life element first. So uh, what is the in real life element? This is real life football academies. What, what you guys in North America would call soccer, but uh, I would stay with the term football, if you don't mind. So a real world uh, football academy that is being built in Brazil right now. And the first phase was already completed. And a number of leaders were able to go to Brazil and see the, the the progress of that construction, right? So this uh, academy is being built, and once it is live, uh, once once it's ready to 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 be opened, uh, the academy will start start attracting new, not you, young young and talented uh, football players uh, from Brazil, you know. And this academy will help them grow. Uh, will uh, invest in them, will develop them, and will make them go pro, right? So a young talent, young and talented player that goes pro, uh, obviously there is a lot of money to be earned, and this is a huge industry, as you might know. There is 3.5 billion people uh, attached to this industry, right? I mean, with the previous phase of DAISY, uh, whenever we talk about AI, Forex, crypto AI, and so on, there is not many people that can relate to that. You know, first you have to explain what Forex is and so on. But here we got football. That's the probably the most popular sports in the world. And many people can relate to that, especially here in Europe, also in South America, in Asia, right? So this is a huge industry. And um, the essence of that business is that we as members can, can become founders by purchasing uh, the founder packs. So we, we basically get a share uh, in that business, right? And once this ecosystem, and it's a very comprehensive big ecosystem, once it starts generating profits, uh, those profits, and they call them royalties here, would be shared with the uh, founding members, right? So royalties are payments from one party to another for using um, IP rights, intellectual property rights, for example, right? Or franchise fees and so on. So there will be a NFT marketplace that will gener generate revenue. So with blockchain sports, we will be able to digitalize young players uh, using those NFTs. So and there will be NFTs on the Polygon chain that we'll be launching. And we expect a lot more details about that particular business uh, at the next global event in Las Vegas, Nevada. So, and that will be on the 17th of August. So there is a lot of royalties to be earned from different uh, elements, from, from different business areas of the ecosystem. Uh, one I already mentioned, NFT marketplace, uh, player transfers, um, as I mentioned, if a player goes pro, uh, this is a significant opportunity. This is where the biggest money is being made. Uh, there is revenue shares from football clubs, sports science, and health tech. So in Dubai, we had this guy, Dr. Eric. I forgot the last name. He was talking about a, a lot of. Uh, he was talking about a lot of sports science, and how they use um, science and artificial intelligence to optimize the performance of young players to optimize their health uh, using different techniques, using supplements, uh, using different sensors on their body uh, that analyze the movement of those players that help optimize the way they move, the way they, they, they run, you know. So there's a lot of different things uh, that will be coming to this big 
ecosystem. And the, the, the second big element is the blockchain. So uh, we had Andre from, uh, from Blockchain Sports on stage. He was giving us a very uh, technical introduction to the blockchain. I think he lost 99% of the, of the audience, but it was very exciting to see how much knowledge he has and how much technology is built into the blockchain that uh, Blockchain Sports is establishing. And this will be a layer one uh, blockchain. So that's why I tend to call the Atla point a point because I often see it for calling the top network, but if a crypto asset has its own blockchain, uh, typically we would call it a coin. So, um, so wh where does the where does the blockchain come in? So with every founding pack, we will be able to acquire nodes. The bigger the package, the more nodes will be included in the package. Um, and those nodes will be producing Atla coins. So, and um, nodes are being used to validate transactions. And actually, we will talk about nodes in a few moments. Let me uh, just uh, open up this slide here. So let me read this for you guys. So nodes play a crucial role in the operation and security of blockchain system. They are responsible for various tasks, including the creation, transmission, and validation of transactions, as well as the minting or mining of new tokens. So those nodes will be minting uh, coins for us on a daily basis. And if you guys have a package already, you can go into your back office and you can see the, the number of Atla coins uh, that this node will be producing. This is basically the, the capacity of the node uh, and this is the number of nodes, uh, this is the number of Atla coins we will be receiving over the next 18 months, right? So, um, and by the way, we don't have to operate those nodes ourselves. Oh, yes, and we don't have to operate those nodes ourselves. We don't have to install a software and to, to have our PC run for 24 hours. Uh, a day, right? We don't have to operate them. And this is not a full node. This is nodes that will be operated for us uh, remotely. So let me make him co-host right quick. And then we will crack on. Okay. All right. So Ilya, can you hear us and see us? I can hear you. I can see you. And I can speak myself. Cool, cool. Well, welcome. Thanks for taking the time for us today. I know you have a very busy schedule. So let me ask you one thing. Are you limitless today? I'm limitless every day. So what the answer is yes. We are all limitless now. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I just discussed the basics of the, of the ecosystem. We have not started talking the packages yet. So maybe that's a good uh, good timing to bring you on. So it's been, I think, one week since since the big event. So how are things now? You're still in Dubai? Did you get some rest? Or is it like nonstop calls, people tearing you apart? How is it? Well, yeah, first of all, Yuzhan, thanks for having me. Uh, I'm still in Dubai and I have like meeting after meeting, both offline and online. Uh, extremely busy you can imagine so we did our first payouts uh this morning uh dubai time right so it's very exciting uh and uh many leaders especially legends right so top leaders they are very happy with what they made in the pay plan because they know they will continue to make it uh for the next uh, almost 30 days right 30 days from the launch basically from the day where <laughs> when they matched those shares yeah so it's very exciting yeah, in case you guys don't understand what legend is, this is one of the pools, the biggest pool actually. And to enter this pool, you need one million in turnover following the 50-50 rule. And I think there will be a special telegram chat for those people, right? Yeah, it, it already exists. And uh, yes, we have, I think like 10, eight maybe legends already in the chat. 
Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry, Eugene, because I wasn't on your call, so I don't know uh, what what you've been uh, telling them, uh, like specifically, right? So maybe you didn't share the pay plan. Uh, no, but uh, we don't need to talk about the pay plan, right? So we're probably talking about. I mean, we have all those tools and PDFs, powerpoints, so yeah. we can just talk about the vision in general, and maybe you can just ask your questions. Yeah, let's do I it. Can. So so far, we just uh, covered the big picture the big idea of blockchain sports. Uh, we talked about the nodes, we talked about the uh, Atlas coin, but not in details. And mm -hmm. we were about to start talking about those packages. And maybe I just covered the first uh, package and then I will ask you the first question, okay? So, yeah, of course. So there is six different founder packs and they start with $500. Uh, and every founder pack will include nodes. So the first pack will include one node uh, and the bigger the pack, the more nodes you will have. And those nodes will produce Atla coins for you. So, and uh, there is an Academy pack that you have to buy first. So before you can go to the founder pack, you buy a Academy pack, which is $100. So what does it do for you? I mean, first you contribute to the Blockchain Sports Academy in Brazil. Well, and uh, second, You'll be you'll be placed in the pay plan in the compensation. You, so you get a you get a spot pretty much. Uh, and this academy pack will include uh, a one will will unlock the first level in the compensation plan. So and um, before I mention the first pack, by the way, let me show you this one. Uh, we had uh, the certificate shared by the founders. So and uh, this was issued by Interroco. That's a service that is dealing with IP uh, rights protections. So, and this certificate confirms that blockchain sports, so the name is registered and protected in, uh, I think, 140 countries. So, this helps secure uh, the name and the IP rights. And also, we had someone on stage, and I forgot the name, Ilya. Was that the what, what was that the yeah owner? he's yeah he's the main guy of this organization so his name is Sanjar you can read right his name Dr Sanjar so he's very respected person in Dubai he works with a royal family and uh, you know uh, he has a big team of lawyers so uh, the number you can see on the screen is it, it, it's a very like relevant number because it took him few few weeks actually to evaluate uh, uh, all together all the components of the ecosystem right because there are multiple startups in the whole ecosystem of blockchain spots so all those uh, together uh, they mm, they form this uh, valuation right which is more than one billion dollars and of course it's 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 just valuation of ip it actually means nothing right it just shows the value uh, just uh, for ip when all of those startups come together right so it doesn't mean it's not it's not something it's not the liquidity right of the project okay this is very important so that's basically a unicorn. So blockchain sports is basically a unicorn according to this uh, certificate here, right? Yes, absolutely. So and this person was on stage, everybody. He was sharing the certificate live. Um, and yeah, we can have a copy of that. So we have a copy of that. Obviously, if you want to have it, just let us know. And uh, I was actually Googling this, this company, uh, Sanja Group. And this is one of the top five services all over the world for IP rights. So it's not just a random uh, office, not just a random service that, that you guys have picked. Um, I, I covered the, the Academy pack already. So that's $100 uh, and that gets you a spot in the compensation plan and that supports uh, the Football Academy. And that gives you access to IRL rewards and digital rewards. So, and uh, let me let me talk about this note here. So that's that's the first found, founders pack, which is five hundred dollars, and there is only four hundred thousand of 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 those packages available. So the supply of every pack is limited. Once they sell out, you will not be able to get any of those, right? And also, the price of those packs is increasing every month. And I think the next price increase will be on Friday. So, and um, this note 
will mint 937.5 uh, Atla coins for you over the next 18 months. So, and uh, this pack will also unlock or will enable you to earn 2% from generations two to 10, right? Uh, when you buy mm -hmm. big packs, you will get higher percentages. So we'll cover uh, the bigger packs in a few moments, but with the next pack, you get 3% instead of 2%. And with the $8,000 pack, you get 4% instead of the two, right? So, and once you have uh, the $8,000 pack, you can max out on the uni level bonus, which is 10 levels deep. Uh, and with the $8,000 pack, you get 4% uh, on all 10 levels. So 40%, will go into the uni level and there will be additional percentages going uh, into the residual plan but let's first discuss the atla coins so this is uh, pretty much the amount of coins you will see in your back office if you have the first founders pack and obviously there's a lot of people asking so can you tell me in dollars so what's what's in for me right what's the passive income how much do i get daily weekly, monthly, you know, those typical questions, right, Ilya? So, and it comes down to the value of the Atla coin. And um, today I have put out a price model uh, looking at the historical performance of the Binance uh, launchpad. You know, in average, a Binance uh, coin or a, Binance, a token launch on the, on the Binance launchpad is doing 50X in average. That's the historical data. And I think uh, the initial listing price of the Atla coin will be around three to five cents, right, Ilya? Yeah, that's a plan. But again, there is no guarantee that we will be on yeah. Binance, right? It's just a target. It's not something that, that is already signed. But we definitely uh, want to be on one of the top exchanges, uh, sec uh, centralized exchanges, right? At the same time, we will be on decentralized exchanges as well, uh, starting from day one, basically. So decentralized exchanges will come first, right? Yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. So maybe the three to five cent uh, will not even be, uh, how shall I say? It will be a lot higher before we can go to centralized. Yeah, exchanges, yeah. Right? I, yeah, Eugene, I don't want to speculate on this just because I don't know. I personally don't know all the details, but we will have this Friday a very important call with uh, Andrew, who is a specialist uh, on uh, on our blockchain. So he's a guy who put together the white paper. So he was on the stage in Dubai also, and uh, we will have a May session with him, right? So, and now we just uh, uh, collecting all the questions from leaders uh, to this guy, right? Basically, so, so if you have any questions related to blockchain, to the coins, to the nodes, to the validation, right? So, so uh, maybe you can yourself, right? So you can pass like a few questions to me. So yeah. we'll put all of those together on Friday is very important call because exactly like you say, right? So so it all starts from the nodes and the nodes are going to be uh, uh, our first uh, like money maker, right? In the deal. Uh, uh, we're not going to make a lot of money from the very beginning from player transfers, for example, or from reality shows, right? Because it will take some time, right? It needs some time like in any business to, uh, to grow, uh, to mature and to start generating some significant income, right? But with the coins, uh it's possible from day one basically from september the first right so so but i would not dive now into all the details so let uh, the expert uh, expert uh, talk about this uh on friday so uh we will i think we'll announce this call very soon and of course it will be translated into certain languages as usual so are you referring to the ama session on friday Yes, AMA session, yes. And also we will have uh, Dima, the founder of Blockchain Spots, also on the call, right? So, so I think he will show like the big picture, the vision, and maybe some roadmap uh, where the project is, uh, yeah, where he wants to take the project uh, and uh, what plans he has for the future. All right, that's cool. So yeah, we already discussed that. So Friday, 1 p.m. UTC, guys. Um, the announcement was made, but I'm not right. sure if the link was shared. Somebody is not muted here. Oh, Kelly, why not? Okay, anyway, so yeah, this is the, the first founder's pack and um, you will see the number of Atla coins 
I added this number to the slide. Uh, it was not on the original slide. So the next pack will be $2,000, uh, and that includes four nodes. And you see the Atla coin number is, is also bigger. And you also get more royalties. So uh, with every pack, you get more royalties from more business areas of the ecosystem. So now you see player transfers coming uh, on top of the NFT marketplace. And um, if you if we go to the next one, there will be one additional element, which is football clubs, royalties from um, the blockchain sports franchise club. So again, the more the bigger the pack, the more uh, royalties from more business areas of the ecosystem, which is a very comprehensive ecosystem. And you heard you heard Ilya saying there is a lot of different startups that are combined under this big blockchain sports umbrella. So this is also very important to understand. Uh, and I think Jeremy called this pack here a sweet spot, right? Because if you guys have a team, if you're building, uh, you want to have this pack because that will help you max out on the compensation plan. So this will make you earn 4% from generations 2 to 10. So the first generation is always 4 but um, with this pack, you will get 4% on generations 2 to 10. Um, we'll talk about compression as well. Just give me a few moments. So with this pack, you get an additional element, as you can see, sports, science, and health tech. Um, and there's a lot of science behind, um, behind those, yeah, behind the academy, I shall say, because we had this person, Dr. Eric, uh, on stage that shared a lot of science, a lot of intelligence about how they help, you know, optimizing the health, optimizing the performance of those players. So I think this is an industry in itself uh, that we can learn from. So this pack is 50K and there's only 4,000 of those available. And uh, you will also be making money from the technology and the um, research and development work. And if you look at the high-end pack, so this is where gaming, reality show, live events, and sponsorship comes into, into the game. And I think you guys mentioned something about the reality show. That's starting soon, right, Elian? Yeah. Reality show is... Uh... Uh, sorry, I was I was reading message. Oh, yeah. Reality show is is yes is actually they already shooting this reality show right, but we don't have the plans, uh, sign contracts yet, uh, where, you know because we have two or three uh, uh, options, uh, of uh, like big uh, media companies right with whom we will collaborate on this reality show, so, I don't think we should announce it publicly yet, but it's already, uh, you know they already filming. And well, probably we'll we'll get yeah we'll get some of those videos very soon released. Right. So just just to summarize, the essence of those found, founding packs founder packs is uh, the bigger you pack, the more uh, you can benefit from more business areas, from more uh, industries. Right. So, and the bigger your Atla coin amount, obviously, the more nodes you will have. In this pack, you will have. 200 nodes. And again, you don't have to run them on your computer. I have it run like 24 seven. Uh, this is not the full node that you get. This is nodes that will be uh, basically operated for you. And if you want to learn all about the, the asset, the Atla asset, the node itself, again, come to the AMA meeting because Ilya and myself, we are not tech guys. We cannot cover everything. Uh, as far as blockchain and crypto is concerned, but yeah, we can still cover a lot, but not all of it. So this is just a summary of all the packs. And um, as you can see here on the right-hand side and the lower right corner, uh, the price increase will be 10% every month. So we, we, we have one more day to buy the packs at this price that you see here, 500, 2,000, 8,000, and so on. Okay. Uh, there is something special that you can uh, benefit from, and that's the founder's rebate bonus. We will discuss it on the next slide. Uh, you will also benefit from 10 levels in the uni level 
uh, plan and the breakage bonus pool. And this is huge. I mean, I didn't expect those breakage bonus pools to be so big. I mean, uh, uh, I don't know if I can explain breakage accurately, but I think this is the, the commission that is not being paid. So if you are, let's say, qualified for 2% in generations 2 to 10, uh, but 4% will be paid out. So the difference, the 2% that are not paid, will end up in the breakage pool. And those, uh, this break breakage can be substantial because we have leaders earning, I think, six-digit amounts in a few days from those breakage pools. So there will be 10% going into the residual plan. So if you guys remember, 40% will go into uni level and 10% will go into the residual bucket. So um, yeah, to qualify for the rebate bonus, you just need to uh, have two people with $500 each in your front line. So basically $1,000 in your front line, and this will make you earn back your founder pack. So if you bought a founder pack at $8,000, uh, dollars, you will uh, earn it back uh, using this rebate rebate bonus. So let me tell you how this will work. So 25% of your pack will be placed in live trading and live trading will be done until 400% is achieved. So 400% of 25% is 100. So once the 400% the are achieved, you can reclaim your 100% of your initial package back. So what, what is this live trading, Ilya? Can you el elaborate on this one? Is this uh, connected to Endotech or, or what is it? Yeah, live trading is obviously is, is a group of traders that we have, right? It's not connected to Endotech because Endotech is specializing on AI trading, uh, but it could be connected, right? Once we get a valid product from Endotech as well. So uh, it's a, it's a trading which can change in the next like few months, right? So we can add more uh, manual uh, traders uh, to our trading desk, or we can use some elements of endotech, right? And uh, we can start from Forex and then we can add like crypto trading as well, right? So it's not uh, specified yet what it's going to be because obviously it will take some time until uh, uh, until you uh, make it Forex, until, uh, until you increase it, right? Uh, 400%. So will we be able to monitor the progress of those uh, of this trade? Yeah, absolutely. It will be in the back office. We just started now, so so there are many things we need to implement in the back office, right? So we're a little bit behind. Now what you see is very basic version, and plus later this week we expect to add, uh, I I think like ten languages maybe, maybe we start from five languages, right? Five major languages, including German, of course. So uh, then it will be easier for some people. We started from English and Japanese just because we didn't have time enough. To prepare for all the languages and then of course we will start adding some uh, features uh, uh, in terms of uh, functionality and uh, usability some reporting also additional reporting so people will be able to see how much time they have for for the shares for example right uh, uh, because each share has 30 days uh, lifetime so everybody will be able to track to see exactly how many days left uh, and uh, some other uh, functions as well. And of course, we will be able to see uh, uh, the volume uh, uh, from each uh, team, from each leg, right? So because now we only see the total volume, and obviously uh, this is what I want to see personally, Eugene, right? I'm pretty yeah. sure you also want to see this number, right? You want to see exactly from your front line how much volume is coming, right, from each person, right? Because then you can focus on your weaker leg, right, to uh, help it grow, uh, to max out on the pay plan, which is very important. Yeah, that's the missing part because you want to follow up with your team, right? That's why you want exactly. to see who contributed from your previous Daisy team. That's very important, yeah. And also, exactly. you mentioned pools. I mean, I really like the idea of having this expiration day, date of 30 days because I think the main idea behind this is avoid dilution of those pools, right? Exactly, exactly, exactly. Because if we make all the pools, all the shares permanent, it will just get diluted all the way. So let's say somebody going to join uh, Limitless two or three months from now, right? If we don't, uh, uh, 
if all the shares are permanent, right? So obviously the results like daily uh, results, uh, they will see uh, daily income, they will see uh, in two or three months, it would be much, much uh, less compared to what we have now, right? Mm -hmm. Because it would get diluted all the time, right? So that's why we decided to make it 30 days, uh, except for the top uh, makers, top owners uh, uh, in the in the company, right? So uh, we have, uh, for those people who reach $5 million, or top like legend stars, right? We have few of them, by the way, already, right? So uh, it's a permanent shares for six months until the end of the project. Uh, so those five shares in the legends pool, it says permanent, right? Yeah, it is permanent, which means it's not permanent. It will not last for years. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, I just wanted to avoid like miss. Yeah, yes, understanding. Yeah. Six so, so it is. I, it will yeah. be valid as long as as uh, as uh, we have limitless uh, running uh, fundraising for for uh, blockchain sports running, right? So so, which could last uh, the longest until uh, August 16th. So of course, we we can finish faster, right? If we sell out faster, then uh, on August 17th we will be allow, uh, announcing new project, a new deal, right? So and looking into that new deal, I do believe that the shares that everybody can make now a permanent shares, right? They will not be uh, uh, carried over uh, towards a new project. But the pay plan and the structure will stay the same. So the new project will be announced in Vegas? Is that right? Yes, yes, yes. And we are not disclosing now what it's going to be. Uh, maybe later on we will be able to, to share some. So at which, some at which stage will the NFT be announced, the NFTs? Are you talking about uh, NFT marketplace or are you talking about founders NFTs? Well, I heard in Dubai there will be NFTs on the Polygon chain and there will be details coming very soon. Oh yeah, absolutely. So so you're talking about founders NFTs. So yeah. everybody who buys, yeah, everybody who buys founders NFTs now, right? So everybody's buying NFT, but nobody can see NFT yet, right? Yeah. Because it's not coming to your own wallet. So the idea behind this is, uh, first of all, it's quite expensive to... Uh, uh, deliver uh, all the NFTs on uh, on Tron blockchain because one of the most expensive blockchains, right? Uh, mm -hmm. From technologists. This is first. Secondly, uh, uh, we want to migrate from Tron to another blockchain in the future, right? So we don't want to. Uh, we don't need to stick to Tron all the way. Uh, so I do believe that the royalty will not be on Tron, uh, and uh, uh, and obviously the Atla coins will not be minted. Uh, once we deploy the blockchain, will not be minted on Tron, of course. So that's why we will migrate to another blockchain, and uh, we don't know yet what is going to be. Uh, we will announce later on, right? So we need to decide. Uh, the tech team needs to decide. So, so uh, on that uh, blockchain that we will migrate to, uh, people will will be able basically to see the NFTs uh, they buy now, right? So, so, so basically, we're not delivering NFTs. Uh, to Tron blockchain, right? But it will be available on another blockchain that we will be migrating to in the future. Okay, so it's because you, yeah, that... technically speaking, you don't need to see that NFT now, today, or tomorrow, or next week, right? Because uh, there is no royalty yet. Mm -hmm. So Polygon is not that's not decided yet. It's right? one of the candidates. Okay. It's one of the candidates. Yep, that's good. So anyway, so those breakage. I mean, they can be, well, they are already huge. I mean, seeing what the top earners are earning now, I mean, this is just yeah. insane. They are very big. They are very big. Yeah. Yeah. So what happens with the remaining 10%? Remaining 10%. So, so, so the breakage, right? So the breakage is uh, unpaid commissions, right? For those people who don't understand. So whatever goes to the pay plan. So the system would search for 10 uplines, right? Mm -hmm. uh, this compression, so it will skip somebody who is not qualified, right? So the system would go up, 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 then would come to the top position. And then uh, if uh, uh, some commissions are still unpaid, it would go into breakage. So uh, uh, traditionally, right, in the industry, uh, the company would take the breakage, like most of companies they do. So what we decided to do is to pay it back, uh, and we decided to pay back uh, 90%. So we created three uh, pools. Uh, rising star uh champion and legend pool so it's not it's sorry sorry and sorry and plus on top of that obviously 10 percent 
uh, it's not shown on the uh, on the slide. Obviously, ten percent stays with us. Uh, so it was supposed to be in, in the slide actually, right? So so ten percent goes towards events and promotions. Mm. So uh, it will cover expenses for events because we will be doing multiple events in Europe, in Japan, uh, in uh, Vegas, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? So so we need to have costs that will cover that event, right? So this is first. This is very important. And we're spending millions of dollars for these events, right? For the last three years, like Dubai, uh, this event in Dubai that we just had last week, by itself, it was extremely expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, then, of course, we will be running some promotions, so we need to have some extra budget, right? So that's why we allocate ten percent to for that need. Okay, so the payout on those pools is daily. Is there a certain Cut off time? It's going to be daily starting from tomorrow. So I think the plan is uh, later tonight to pay for Monday and Tuesday collectively, uh, and then starting from tomorrow to pay for Wednesday. That's uh, uh, how I understand uh, uh, the way I understand it. Uh, so, but let's see, because we need to, yeah, yeah. I, I need to double check with the tech team. Most probably starting from tomorrow, it will be daily payouts for, uh, for the previous day. So whatever you make, Whatever you make, uh, let's say on Thursday, right? So you will get paid on Friday, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, I guess there will be From a the... daily cutoff time, whatever, eight p.m. Yeah, cutoff time is UTC midnight. Oh, okay. Uh, as always. yes, is UTC midnight. Yes, and then maybe Eugene, you pay you maybe you notice that we have only one claim button uh, yeah. in the back office. So so. It's not, we have two payouts. One is Unilevel, another one is from the break from the breakage pools, right? But we decided to combine it into one. Uh, claim button because basically people don't keep commissions in the back office, right? Everybody wants to just claim it and take it, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's why we just so that people don't spend a lot of uh, TRX on the fee. Uh, we just made it simple, and people just push one button and claim it. Okay. Uh, but we will make sure that we'll have more important that people understand exactly like breakout. Uh, you know, uh, what this commission is coming from, where where it's coming from, how much they made in uni level, how much they made in the pools. Plus, uh, uh, we want to show uh, how much they made in the past also, right? Uh, uh, what was uh, the, uh, like the history of payouts, right? Basically, this is yeah. also on the plan. Also, I want to mention this, guys. If you have qualified for those generations during the daisy times, it doesn't mean that you will be placed in those pools. I think this is very important to understand. You will have to re-earn uh, the pool share. So like the fourth generation, uh, this gets you into the champions pool. You have to re-earn it. If you qualified for it in Daisy, it doesn't mean you will be part of it. So that's important to understand. Uh, also, fifth generation will get you four shares in the champions pool, then sixth generation 10, seventh generation 20, and then the big pool, yep. legend pool. Sorry, Elia, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I, yeah, this is like a race, basically. This is the way I see it, right? So mm -hmm. people, uh, leaders, they got paid this morning, so everybody's excited, like including myself. I will, I will be honest, right? So I'm also making money on the uh, in the pay plan. So it's very exciting. So we have a race. Maximum it will last for six months, and uh, let's say you unlock uh, fifth generation with uh, one hundred thousand team volume, right? So in this case, and you make some some. Uh, certain amount like on daily basis of course it will fluctuate right because it's it's not a fixed amount it depends on daily revenue global revenue so you see those payouts and you know that those payouts will last only for 30 days right Eugene mm -hmm. so and obviously as a leader you would like to take some action and to unlock next generation right? because once you unlock next generation so basically you you make double of your sales. In this case, you unlock six uh, generation uh, six, six generation. So, uh, uh, since it is a cumulative volume, right? So you need to, uh, and you already uh, generated one hundred thousand team volume, right? So you need to generate another one hundred fifty thousand team volume. So total it would be two hundred fifty k. So you will do your best uh, to unlock six generation because once you do it. From the next day, your daily payouts will basically double, at least, right? You will get more money. So anybody who uh, have a taste of these payouts, right? So they understand they just need to 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 build a little bit more, 
right, to unlock next generation, then the payouts, daily payouts will increase. And then plus, from the moment that you unlock next generation, you uh, get new shares, and those new shares will also last 30 days, right? So you're just making sure that you will always have some money yes, on sir. the table, yeah. which is very important. Because if you don't, ta don't take any action, if you unlock uh, Gen 5, for example, and you don't, don't do anything after that, so in, cert in 30 days, your shares will expire and you will not make any money on this part of the pay plan. So maybe you will still make, of course, uh, money from uni level, right? So that's why it's very, it's very important to basically keep unlocking generations, Gen 5, Gen 6, Gen 7, and uh, go all the way to, to the top. So let, let me clarify one thing. I mean, the shares expire, but the qualification, once you locked in the fifth generation, it doesn't go away after 30 days, right? 100%. Yes, 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 100%. That was it stays one, with you all the time. That's one of yes. the questions that people had. So, well, joining is as easy as one, two, three. I mean, if you if you manage to join Daisy, I mean, this one will be like 10 times easier, right? Uh, you just connect and you buy a tier. You go straight to the tier you want. Uh, you don't have to go one by one, right? You can go straight to package 8,000, straight to package 25,000. And you will not burn Correct. as much tier access you had to burn with Daisy. I think it's like, I don't know, 90 to 100 TRX. There is two confirmations, guys, two confirmations that you have to make on the Tron blockchain. Because uh, many times I see people saying, well, I confirmed, why is my, my package not appearing? You guys have to first approve USDT and then confirm the pack. So there's two confirmations. Don't forget that, right? So, and if you are part of Daisy, you don't need a referral link. You just go to imlimitless.io, connect your wallet and buy your pack. Very easy. If, if there is a new member that you want to onboard, just go to your back office and grab your link. So, all right. So we have covered this. So before we let you go, Ilya, um, one yeah, question. I got like three minutes before I jump on the next call. <laughs> one question that was on my mind. We had those... Football legends in Dubai. I think four mm -hmm. or maybe more. Yep. So, so will they start talking about blockchain sports on their socials? I saw Romario having like 3.6 million followers on Instagram. So will those people start promoting blockchain sports? Will they talk about it? Well, uh, Eugen, that's a plan. I cannot talk about all 40 plus uh, footballers, but some of them, sure, we have like at least two or three uh, top footballers who became our like official ambassadors, right? You know what I mean? Like Kevin Kurani or uh, Ludovic Jolie. So we basically signed contract with them and, uh, uh, you know, they are, uh, they will be talking on their social media if they haven't started yet. Uh, but uh, remaining footballers, uh, uh, I would say that we signed the deal, Dima signed the deal with majority of them. So I think they are supposed to start uh, uh some kind of like advertisement, right? Basically sharing the story of blockchain spots on their social media, but I need to double check with the team, right? So that's a very good question. Well, but actually, for sure, those people who came to Dubai, uh, they just didn't come to event and that's it, right? So, so because they also got like really, really interested. Uh, they got really, really excited because now finally they can uh, spread the word about something that is very relevant to them, right? Because they're coming from, the, from this industry. It's much better for them uh, than uh, advertising something that got nothing to do with football, you know? Mm, yeah. Well, I remember Romario being very emotional on stage because he really likes the cause of this. Yeah, product. he loves the cause. Yes, yes, it helps, exactly. It, it helps to get young players out of the favela, you know, bringing them to sports, making them uh, professional players if everything goes well. So this really empowers young people gets them out of the yeah out of the poor 100 percent because he's coming from favels himself right so from very poor region in brazil and he's i think he's 58 or something right so he's almost 60 years old right so we're talking about like really long long time ago back in those days he was coming from poor family he made all his uh his way all the way up to where he is today uh obviously he's not a footballer now but he supports sports industry and he's a sports senator in brazil right so it's very, very high position it's like minister of sports basically so he's into politics now but he wants to pay back to give back to where he was coming from right so that's why when he made dima they like instantly clicked 
uh, because the cause is very strong. It's a social project for him. It's not, I mean, he has enough money, you can imagine, right? So he yeah. is not a, he is a best person, right? So it's not about money in his case. While for some footballers, of course, for the, for some stars, you know, when they are stars, they make a lot of money. When they retire, they start to advertise something, right? So they start to make money randomly. Uh, uh, but uh, obviously for some of them, uh, 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 you know, they want to advertise blockchain sports because they like it. But of course, they will be on a payroll as well, right? So so right. some of them, they do this for free. Some of them, they will be doing this for money. But even if they do for money, they they like the cause and the mission, right, of the project. So it's it's a combination. Cool. All right. Well, I saw Kevin Kurani talk about blockchain sports on his Instagram. And well, I know him because he used to be a German national. Yeah, he's player. from Germany. <laughs> he started here in Stuttgart, close by. So uh, I'm waiting for the day until Romario and other guys will be talking about blockchain sports. And I think a lot of new people will come into the ecosystem. So very uh, exciting times ahead. And uh, thanks, Ilya, for having for taking the yep, time to be with us. Thank you, Eugene. Thanks again and uh, talk to you soon. Thanks, Thank everybody. You. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining, everybody. Bye-bye.